how's it going folks it is november 13th 2020 and this one is actually going to be on um how to use the uh position tool i think it's a cool tool and i don't think a lot of people know how to use it or they just don't don't see the benefit in using it so let's just quickly run through it now um the tool is found over on the left hand side here if you have your configuration the same as i do and uh, what you can do is click on this button, look for a long position, for instance. And let's just say that you wanted to play this area right here and you were looking to, to play long, just as an example. And it's just to do the settings. So what you see here is uh, right now, um, as you move this up or down, you'll see that this number right here changes. Now, as long as it is green, your, this here means that it's you hit your target. You've made money. Um, if it's red, it means your target's higher. It hasn't hit yet. Price is still below, and right now price is actually below the entry point. So let's just move this over here. As long as it's green, you're in the money. That's what I'm trying to get at. So um, if it's red, you're not in the money, and if it's green, you're in the money. Now the 2.64 is currently where I have the target, the top. Part of the target that's what this 2.64 or 2.71 means now that is an r a risk unit that's an, an r so if you risked uh say a hundred dollars uh, this would be 271 dollars up here that's how much it would be worth now if you double click on it you can actually set um you can set it up so that you're risking a percentage so let's say you have a thousand dollar account and you wanted to risk a percentage, so let's change this to percent, and you wanted to risk 1%. So 1% would be $10, and this was your setup. You would need uh, 22 shares if you were gonna risk um, 1%. Now, if you were gonna risk, say $100, let's go to change this from percentage to USD, and let's say that we wanted to risk $100. Oops. you'd see that you would now get 222 shares. And the, so this is a quick and easy tool. If you're if you're constantly, I mean, I, I don't recommend that you not log your trades at all, but if you're looking to make a quick decision on how many shares you need, um, put your entry, this is where you're entering, move your stop up and down. Once you've selected your risk, and I use the dollar sign, um, so I use this USD if I'm gonna use this tool, and uh, I select the exact amount that I want to risk. So let's say $500. I want to risk $500. So I then can position my stop. Where do I want to put my stop? All right, I want to put my stop right there. I need to buy 1,162 shares at the price, which is $5.82. That's my entry. So that's how you use the position tool. I think it's really cool. And again, uh, you want to know where your 2R is. There's the 2R. So I'm looking to um, exit at $6.68, or if I want to exit at the high of day, I can take 701 and that would yield me 2.77R. So that's how you use the position tool. I think it's really quick and really easy and quickly we'll just show you the short position tool. So if you're going in short, so let's say we go in short right here, again, same thing. Um, you can either put your account size, go by a percentage, but I think it's better to go this direction. So let's say $1,000 US is your your risk unit um, or $100. Let's just do $100 is the risk unit. Click OK. Your entry shows up here $6.35 and you can also see it right here $6.35. You can position your stop, move your stop around and let's say right here this is where we want the stop. We get 256 shares to go short and let's say our 2R target is right there, 2R. So that's we're exiting at uh, target 5.57 cents. So $5.57 is our target for 2R. This shows you that you're in the money. If at any time it's red, see there, you're not in the money. Green is in the money. So as long as this is green, you're making profit. If it's red, you're not making profit, you're losing money. And uh, that's pretty simple, I think. Uh, once I set my my position, I don't move the stop. So if you're if you are actually going to move the stop and you want to keep track of that, I actually use a line, and I call this current stop, and I will just 
move it accordingly so I know exactly where my stop is. And I want to do it that way because you don't want to actually move this part down because it actually changes your 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 R. So you don't actually know where you are um, as far as your R's are concerned. So moving this down tells me where my ac actual stop is, but I also know where my position is as far as it relates to my R. So again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to get notifications of any future videos and happy trading folks.